if f of x equals the square root of x plus 3, find the difference quotient, f of a plus h minus f of a over h. We will start by just finding what f of a plus h is. f of a plus h. Well, that means we plug in a plus h everywhere we see x. And for this function, it's very straightforward. We just have the 1x, so we replace that with a plus h and then plus 3 f of a, of course, is just plugging a in, and so that is the square root of a plus 3. So for our difference quotient now, we're going to subtract these. Subtract a, square root of a plus h plus 3, minus the square root of a plus 3, and divide that by h. Now this is the difference quotient, but we'd like to simplify it if we can. We don't like uh, all these square roots and, and dividing by an h. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply here by the conjugate of the numerator. Okay? The conjugate of an expression with two terms is the same two terms, but we change the sign in between. Okay? So this minus right there, we're going to change that to a plus, And that's what we're going to multiply by. So we're going to multiply by the square root of a plus h plus 3 plus the square root of a plus 3. Notice it's the same two terms, but instead of a minus, it's a plus. Now, I can't just multiply by that because that's going to change my expression. The only thing I'm allowed to multiply by without changing is 1. Okay, So to multiply by this expression, if I do it on the numerator, I need to do it in the denominator. So I have the same expression down in the denominator. Okay. Now we're going to multiply. Now there's a lot of things going on here. I mean, it looks complicated, but it's not too bad. There's two terms here, and there's two terms here. So we're just distributing here. This is FOIL, okay? We're gonna take the square root of a plus h plus three, and we're going to multiply it by that square root of a plus h plus three. Now, if I multiply those two things together, it just gets rid of the square root. I just have a plus h plus 3. The next thing is to take this square root of a plus h plus 3 and multiply by this square root here. So that's those two together. Now those are different square roots, so they don't really cancel at all. So I'm just going to leave it as the product of those two. Just leave it written out as multiplying those two things. Next, we move to this negative a square root of a plus 3 and multiply that by that first term there. And again, those are different square roots, so they don't really simplify. So I'm going to leave them uh, separated. But I've got a negative because I have a negative here times the positive. So that's minus the square root of a plus 3 times the square root of a plus h plus 3. And then finally, I've got the last terms, these two here, where I've got the square root of a plus 3, negative, times the square root of a plus 3. So that's a negative times a positive, so that's negative. But it's the square root of a plus 3 times itself, so that's just a plus 3. And be very careful here because that was a negative, and it's negative the whole a plus 3. So we put parentheses there to indicate that. Okay, and then this is all over. We've got the h times this thing here, and I'm not going to distribute that. Uh, the only reason I distributed it in the numerator is because I specifically chose to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator because it makes lots of things cancel. And that's this next step. Notice that this, this blue term here and this green term are the same thing, but one is positive and one is negative. That means that we get to cancel those out. Okay, So now in my numerator, I have a plus h plus 3. And then over here, distribute the minus, and I have a minus a minus 3. And then my denominator is the same thing. I'm not going to worry about changing that at all. And then we've got some even, even more things that are going to cancel here. We've got an a and a minus a, so those are gone. And we've got a 3 and a minus 3, so those are gone. And all we're left with is an h in the numerator. 
an h in the denominator with the square root of a plus h plus 3 plus the square root of a plus 3. And finally, I've got the h in the top and bottom, so I can cancel those out. And my final answer for my difference quotient is 1 over the square root of a plus h plus 3 plus the square root of a plus 3. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, how is that really any better than this initial difference quotient? Well, it's hard to see right now, but in uh, the applications where we use the difference quotient, we don't like when we're dividing by h, because what we actually want is for h to be 0, um, essentially. And we can't divide by 0 here, right? Remember, when we cancel out h, technically I should say h cannot equal 0. Okay? But this expression is a lot easier to work with in our applications uh, that we do in calculus. Um, it's a lot easier than this expression up here. So the goal is to always somehow get rid of that h in the denominator of the difference quotient if you can.